Coming up on Mount News this morning, one county in our region holds a celebration meant for burger lovers. And Kentucky fire officials give some tips so you can stay safe during your 4th of July celebrations. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Five thirty-two. Good morning. It's Monday. I'm Dakota Makers. Lord, I'm back, aren't I? Let's let's take it over to Brandon for a look at our forecast. Brandon, you uh, you're already going to get me in trouble. I listen. I'm I trying didn't to do behave. Anything. <laughs> I'm trying to behave this week, and you're already trying to get me in trouble. I'm not doing anything. No. Listen, we're just we're just making some jokes. We're just there. joking, it's you right, know. Exactly. That's what we do around here. It's exactly right. Got to bring got to bring you back in in style. <laughs> that's okay. That's right. Because right, I couldn't I couldn't be like this on the evenings. That's exactly so. right. I mean, I did a little bit during that's the four o'clock. Yeah, here and there. <laughs> Here and there. Anyway, <laughs> listen, you can you can let it all back out this morning. I am. Exactly. <laughs> all right, let's get into the forecast here. We are tracking some rain across parts of the area as a cold front continues to exit our region, but exit is the key word there. It's moving through the region right now. Still an active flash flood warning until 630 there for Elliott, Morgan, and Round counties, but the bulk of the rain has moved out of there, actually passed there by several uh, counties, actually a couple of counties there, but still, if you're seeing any flash flooding in that area, we've not had any reports yet, let us know pretty quickly. Still some heavy rain falling there just south and east of Jackson and Breathitt County, right around the Paintsville area, just to the uh, kind of east of Prestonsburg, back over north of Pikeville and Pike County this morning, through parts of Martin and Lawrence counties as well. So just be careful out there. Buffalo Mountain, maybe just a touch of fog up there this morning. We can't see the tower across the way, so that's what makes me think it's a little bit of fog out there this morning. 61 Clintwood, 71 Prestonsburg, 72 Jackson, Somerset, and Monticello, 70 in um, Moorhead, uh, Jackson, and uh, Hazard this morning. All right, dew points still up there, so we're going to keep an eye on those, but look at Moorhead, already down to 55, so that front is moving its way through, and it's going to help us out there pretty quickly. 81 today, if we're lucky there, sunshine breaks out this afternoon. Sunrise, 614, sunset, 859, almost 9 o'clock tonight. Dakota? All right, Brandon, thank you. Well, we now know the names of the six people who died in the Logan County, West Virginia helicopter crash. Well, their names were released Saturday by West Virginia State Police. John Nagel II, Donald Sandoff, Kevin Warren, Carolyn O'Connor, Marvin Bledsoe, and Jack Collins were all honored at the Logan Freedom Festival in West Virginia. Six chairs were placed on stage in their memory and flowers were placed on each of the chairs. Funeral arrangements for a Kentucky power worker who died have been announced. Wallace Wu Melton Jr. died after his Kentucky power truck went over an embankment in the Viper community. Visitation will be at the Ingle Bowen Funeral Home this evening from 6 to 9 p.m. The funeral service will be on Tuesday at 1 p.m. at the same location. The burial will follow and in the Adams Lewis Cemetery located in Viper. Kentucky State Police are investigating a deadly crash in Rockcastle County that happened Saturday evening. Troopers say just after 6 p.m. on Saturday, a man and his passenger, Faith Jenkins, were riding on a motorcycle on I-75 when the back tire blew out. First responders took them both to a hospital, but Jenkins died. The driver is recovering at UK Hospital and is expected to survive. Neither of the victims were wearing a helmet when they crashed. In Breathitt County, state police say they're investigating a shooting involving a deputy. It happened Friday in the Van Cleve community. Police say a man who was injured during the incident needed to be flown to the University of Kentucky for treatment. A Breathitt County deputy sheriff received minor in injuries and was treated at a local area hospital and later released. It's also not clear what led up to the shooting. The Knox County Sheriff's Department is asking for your help in finding two stolen vehicles. A green Honda Rancher ATV was stolen in the gray area on June 22nd. And in 2016, Harlan, or excuse me, Harley Davidson was stolen from Standard Avenue on June 23rd. Knox County Dispatch asks you give them a call if you've seen either vehicle. Severe storms popped up in our region during the weekend, bringing heavy rain and even flash flooding in some areas. We received this video from Keisha Bentley a little after 2 p.m. on Saturday from Elkhorn City. The video shows someone trapped in their car next to Community Trust Bank. Well, if you've ever wondered how people are still able to communicate if power lines are out, like in the instance of a natural disaster, amateur or ham radio radios make this possible. And during the weekend, several ham radio operators gathered in Whitesburg for the annual Kentucky Mountains Amateur Radio Club Field Day a day where they test equipment and try to contact other operators across the state and country and even around the globe. 
I want to say it's another arrow in the quiver in case there is a disaster. Plus, it's just a fun time to get out and fellowship with fellow hams, let, uh, let the community see what we're doing. Those with the radio clubs say they meet every month, but Peter Ockley hosts uh, events involving the community. If you are interested in learning more about the Kentucky Mountains Amateur Radio Club, you can visit our website at WYMT.com. Lawrence County is hosting its inaugural Burger Week this week. Twelve restaurants are participating, each creating their own special flavor. Chairman of the Lawrence County Tourism Commission, Wes Kingsmore, says this is an opportunity to support local businesses. We're trying to do something to give them a little bit of a kick. Uh, you know, uh, with food costs going up, I was told by one of the restaurant owners yesterday that their bun cost was going to double next month. So, you know, when you're, when you're facing that kind of stuff, we need to get as much interest as possible. Customers can participate in a raffle after buying a Burger Week product for a chance at winning a prize at the end of the week. The Levisa Fork Paddle Fest kicked off during the weekend in Floyd County for its second event of the year, but with a few changes. Our Jordan Mullins has more. The Levisa Fork Paddle Fest hit the water Saturday morning, but things were a bit different this time around. Uh, the water's really low, and we can't get our safety boat throughout the whole river. And there were some trees down that we've not been able to get to cut because the water's so low. On May 28th, the first paddle fest of 2022, things started out on a normal 8.2 mile route. But because of recent storms and low water levels, folks came to Dewey Lake for a shorter three mile route. It was kind of a happy accident, but something that people have asked for for a really long time. And when we didn't feel like it was uh, completely safe to go out on the river, we said, well, let's, let's try it out on the lake. And so far, everyone seems really, really happy about that. But no matter the body of water, people say Paddle Fest is fun for all ages and skill levels. It's just every skill level and something for, for families to do, relaxing, enjoy. But also, if you want to come out and get a great workout and something totally different, you can also do that too. So it's really an event. You can make it what you want, and it's open to, to all skills. And officials are happy to invite folks to Prestonsburg. We have people come in and stay overnight. They go to restaurants. Um, you know, I, I, the whole thing is you've got to have people a variety of things to do. So we've got the concert venue. We've got uh, we've got the trails and all this. This is just something added to it to have in our toolbox for people to come and enjoy. To have some fun while experiencing the beauty of Appalachia. In Prestonsburg, Jordan Mullins, WIMT Mountain News. Well, Johnson said the Levisa Fork Paddle Fest is scheduled the fourth Saturday of the year until September, and you can check out the Prestonsburg Tourism Facebook page for more information. The Kentucky Transportation Cabinet is asking drivers to be careful during the 50-mile yard sale, which is scheduled on July 1st and 2nd. The yard sale stretches through Breathitt, Lee, and Estill counties along Kentucky 52. KYTC reminds drivers to use caution during the event since folks come from outside of the region and aren't familiar with our roads. Officials say the message boards will be placed to remind drivers to watch out for pedestrians. The 4th of July is just one week away and now firefighters are reminding everyone to stay safe around fireworks. A Kentucky Fire Department says the has the safety tips to keep your July 4th celebration injury free. Wear safety glasses, follow the instructions, and light the fireworks off of a flat and level ground that's 200 feet away from your home and other people. Be sure the fireworks won't land in a dry butt brush or that might start a wildfire and you have to be careful around all fireworks, even the small ones. The sparklers that everybody likes to give the, the little kids and let them play with, they burn somewhere 1,800, 2,000 degrees. These things can hurt you in a moment's notice and, and it turn your fantastic party into pretty much a disaster. Officials said the best way to avoid trouble is to leave it up to the professionals. We just had this morning, a world famous singer and songwriter releases a haunting ballad set to be featured in an upcoming movie. We made up some ground with our rainfall totals this weekend, and we might make up some more by the end of this week. I'll have the next best chances for showers in about three minutes. I will.